Hello everybody and welcome back for more Super Mario 64. Last time we beat Bowser back from the basement. And apparently he's waiting on the third floor for us. In this episode, we're going to be heading in to the next area of the castle. We open this door and we end up in this tower, I would say. Yeah, this is in the tower of the castle. So we have a whole bunch of worlds open to us now, now that we're here. But I'm going to speak to this toad. Thanks to the power of the stars, life is returning to the castle. Please, Mario, you have to give Bowser the boot. Here, let me tell you a little something about the castle. In the room with the mirrors, look closely for anything that is not reflected in the mirror. And when you go to the water town, you can flood it with a high jump into the painting. Oh, by the way, look what I found. And that is another secret star. Kept by a toad. First star of the episode. We go in to... No, not this room. Not this room. We go in to this room over here. Because this is where our next thing is. And this is the mirror room that the toad was explaining about. And... You can actually see like two behind Mario. Yeah. Now, something that's not in the real world, but is only in the mirror. Hmm. I wonder. Welcome to our next course, Snowman's Land. Our first mission is Snowman's Big Head. Now, this mission sucks. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This mission absolutely sucks. Big, fat... Yeah, you know where I'm going with that. So what we need to do is just go on over and just make sure that we don't get slid away by those ice blocks. And we jump up here. And we carefully go up the snowman. Hey, who's there? What's climbing on me? Is it a nice ant? A snow flea? Whatever it is, it's bugging me. I think I'll blow it away. Yeah, you didn't really need to do do that, snowman. Because aged controls suck. Ugh, let's get back up there. Go through that spin drift. Man, is it just me? Or is the Let's Play's curse really heading in? For this episode right now because we got up there pretty fast and now I'm having trouble what the hell game or maybe it's just the fact that the game has aged so poorly that too now what you can do is go on top of the penguin so you won't get blown away you can alternatively hide behind the penguin, which is the intended way of doing it. But, yeah. Penguin, can you just go? And apparently its body has collision on it. And once we're up, the star is right over here. Yeah, it does suck that it fell off. And it wasn't as fast as I thought it would be, but, eh, it's fine. Mission number two, chill with the bully. Now, in Lethal Lava Land, we actually had a bully fight. This time, it is an ice bully. And just kick him into the frostbite. And the star will appear. Very easy, very simple. Thank you very much, game. Is this a speed run, or are we in the deep freeze? Now, in the deep freeze is right over here. What we need to do is actually... Camera, please. I prefer the camera in the remake, not gonna lie. We go on top and we fall in hole. That's one way to put it. 
Next up, Whirl from the Freezing Pond. We're doing a bit of a whirly gig right now. What we need to do is just boing on these guys. Uh, on the other side of it. Because I can't do speedrunning tactics for shit. And also, if you lose your hat in this world, that snowman that just popped out of the ground will be the one that holds the hat. So, a little bit easier than the klepto. We have World from the Freezing Pond, it is time to get this star. Up next is Shell Shreddem for red coins. Now, I have no idea where the red coins are. I'm not that good at this game. But this guy is... I forgot what these guys are called. Hey, pa hey, editing me, can you, um... Get these coins. And defeat these spin drifts for even more. For three, that is. And Mr. Snowman, where are you? We run circles around you. Like a Mr. I. And you give us three coins. That's where the star will appear. However, I'm also getting the 100 coins because I have very much got OCD with doing things like this. There's an amp there with some wind. The 100 coin mission is actually just where I just explore the world as well. There's our first red coin. Kill this fly guy. Any more coins around here? No? Okay. We can move on. Ah, okay. I see what we need to do. First of all, get these spin drifts out of the way. We need to find somewhere that has a shell in it. Oh, hello, Mr. Snowman. Don't mind if I just run around you. Does this have a shell in it? No, a one-up. And it's not a green demon either. If you don't know what a green demon is, it's basically where... It's basically Super Mario 64 modded in a way that any one-up that spawns out of blocks or at random chases after you. And if it hits you, it kills you. So, I, I would like to try that at some point. And that coin is gone. I see a red coin over there. Just gonna... Nub boing. Ow. I need to get out of here. Just defeat you, get some more health. Okay. Boing! Onto here. Number three, and in block right, there's a shell nut. And we just need to slide along here, avoiding the snowman. And there's the star. But I am not done. I have 63 coins and I would like more. Okay, 69. Nice. And I think... Can I go in here and exit it? Okay, cool. I didn't want to lose any progress in the 100 coins. There is also a star in here as well. Jeez, this place looks very backrooms. Go in here. Hello? Hello. Cannon, please? Some coins. 
and another one up. Don't mind if I do. I see coins encased in the ice. Just need to find this. I can't jump over that one. I can jump over this one. Spindrift, you almost jump scared me. Get this. Boing on you. And I need to get in here as quickly as possible. And get all of these coins. And just one more will do the trick. Oh, you... you ass. Can I get this? Yeah. The ceiling's hitbox is a little lower than it is. So, uh... Yeah! I'm gonna have to come back and get the 100 coin star. Hopefully the 8 red coin star hasn't despawned. So I can actually get that one. Number 80 would be 81 if that star didn't spawn outside of the boundary. Ugh. So yeah, that was what I was worried about last time with the 100 coins in Die Die Docks. If the star spawned outside of the boundary. Ugh. That's what I don't like about this game is the spin drifts propel you into the air. And if you get one of their coins, and it's the 100th coin, the star appears outside of the boundary, and yeah, that, that's the gripe that I have with this game. One of the many gripes, I, I should say. I'm only doing this because it's leading up to Super Mario Galaxy and Galaxy 2. And plus, I have never done a Let's Play of Super Mario 64 before. And oh yeah, you can actually freeze burn your ass on that ice below, uh, the ice bully. I almost called him Chief Chili, which is a boss in Super Mario 64 DS. And not in this one. But hey, at least we do get a sped up segment of getting the 100 coins, which means getting all the eight red coins again and getting all the coins in the igloo again. Uh, oh well. At least 100 coins in Super Mario Sunshine won't treat me this way. Because the 100 coin shine actually has a designated spawn point. Uh, I, I, I just don't know. This game holds a lot of nostalgia for people in their hearts and stuff. And I see why... And yeah, it did revolutionize 3D platforming for the Mario series, but to me, it's just not that good. Like, yeah, I've complained about this game a lot, and I'm actually considering, once this Let's Play is done, to go through the entire Let's Play again, and just put together a compilation of how many times I've complained about the game. Because, for one, people complaining about video games is fun to watch, apparently. I mean, there's a certain former Splatoon player who has a lot of compilations about them complaining about the game. I'm not mentioning them by name, but if you're in the Splatoon community, you know who it is. Uh, 69 coins, getting the rest, and I might as well get the star above, which is into the igloo. And I should mention... The name of the 100 coin star in this world is Coin Cold Storage. Which is very nice. So I'm going to hand you off to live commentary me once again. And get out of this snowman world. Not that it's bad. I actually, I actually like this world. It's getting me all festive. And there we go. This is the 100 coin star of Snowman's Land. Here we go. And while we're at it, we can also do the last mission, which I do not currently have selected. So... 
If we go back over to where we got the Vanished Cap. And go through the igloo. It is right up here. If I can get up there. There we go. Mario was partially encased in ice, but that is the last mission in Snowman's Land, into the igloo. Well, that... that's... wow. That was actually quicker than I thought it would be. So, next time in Super Mario 64, we are going to the next world, which is through this painting of a Skeeter. I think that's what they're called. Skeeter. They're pond skaters. So, see you guys then.